So I can. What I want to talk about is a couple of important things about Morrowind modding that I usually not so well known and as they are important if you are using a heavily modded Morrowind I think I, I try to explain uh, these couple things in this video and I'm talking about matching objects and matching leveled lists which are often confused by average uh, users but are uh, different things uh, touching different part of the game and uh, generated by different tools so it needs uh, maybe a little clarification so uh, what are leveled lists and why we need to match them level list if we open the game so uh, one of the standard but as the ESM well uh, standard game data are if we open a leveled item like uh, a list having for instance the loot in a tomb we can see that's a list of things you may find in uh, a tomb place that is set by player level so you can find this thing at this level if you are higher level you can find another better things and so on and there are hundreds and hundreds of these lists in Morrowind in Blood Moon there are lists of level of the list so the combinations are uh, really really something huge and this is what is giving spice to all the loot you find and uh, what kind of loot how precious this loot e is and uh, how the loot can increase in value and uh, in uh, enchantment and things like this when a player increases level and uh, the same thing for enemies some kind of enemies you can find depends on the level of lists of another kind but they are still level of list of creatures and they work the same way uh, the higher the player level and the better the harder enemies you may encounter so this is all good but there's a little problem how Bethesda uh, modded games work is uh, essentially the last thing you load is the one that uh, wins the changes in the last loaded thing overwrite similar changes in the same thing done by previous uh, mods or previous uh, uh, things so what happens if, for instance, we have a list where uh, I put a, a, a ring with the love value and another list uh, for the same list where another mod is putting uh, a different thing? Uh, it happens that the last loading mod is completely uh, overwriting the changes from the previous mod so merging means we try to have all the changes uh, kept together and to avoid that the last change to the same thing is overwriting the previous change by another mod and this works uh, with mods but also with saves we can consider a save as 
the absolutely last thing loaded but this is another another thing about uh problem with saves and how to to fix or keep them but for now we, we talk about mods so what we want to do is a way to have different mods changing the same level of the lists uh, that can be for loot or for enemy creatures that the player find to be all uh, kept in in your in your morrowing configuration and for this we need a level list match uh, which is not the same as uh, objects match because a level list match is more sp uh, specialized for level list and so to do uh, this match there are uh, different programs that have been developed uh, during Mor Morrowind history which is very long as you may already know and usually more recent tools are better because they, uh, they they build on previous previous knowledge and previous tools uh, this is not always the case but I think uh, all in all this is true for this kind of program so all in all the best uh, available uh, tool to generate matched level lists so far is still a task free command and a specific version of task free command released for now just is in a pre alpha version by uh, the test free command auto which is john at moon sugar and problem is this is not very easily found because being sort of pre alpha version uh, it is not so often used and it uh, it has some things inside that uh, are not so uh, very well tested so you may want to use the previous version uh, of this program for to do other things uh, and you may want to use uh, this very latest version uh, to just generate uh, the level list match and to do other things if you need for instance to to apply some task free command to all your loading list this very latest alpha version is uh, has a, a command specifically to do this but this is very uh, a Nike used by a, a user who know how to use task free command specific commands uh, a general mod user I mean, a general morrowing player needs to know that this la latest alpha version exists only because it's the best available tool so far to generate merged level lists so I suggest you download and use it just for this thing and it's a little hard to find so let's try and see how we can do it uh, I have a link in my site I think so if you go to my site which is this one I should have a link uh, I think it's here in Morrowind modding tools oh we can maybe look for it as free command I'm pressing Ctrl F to look for something in the text 
task free command. Okay, so this is the one we want to look for. Task free command alpha version. And this is the link. So how can you find it? You can directly go to GitHub at this address here. Or you can go to my site and look for it. But this is the version we want. Uh, 0.40 pre-release 2 with a trial windows.exe. So we go here and get this one. So what I suggest is download this thing, rename it uh, like uh, that's free command uh, alpha, something like this. If you have already the other task free command, the previous version, which is 0 0.47 and something like this, but this one is the best one to generate match to level at least. So uh, you could just use this one if you are uh, not using task free command for other things, or rename it. Uh, in any case, you need to run this with the multi-patch options. So, my suggestion is, if you are not using Task Free Common for other things, don't rename it, just keep the old name and overwrite uh, the one Task Free Common with, with this one. If you have already uh, the 0 0.37 version, the more stable one version, and you want to keep using it to do other things, I just rename uh, the new one. Uh, or, or vice versa. Uh, but all in all, I think most people will just want to overwrite uh, the old test free command that you may have in your data files folder with uh, this version. Uh, because this way, if you keep the test free command name without changing the name, you will be able to run it directly from mesh like uh, this. Uh, mesh probably you are using the Polemos version. And this version is just looking for a test free command.exe file. So this is the name it is looking for. And we can run it using this fix it. Uh, sorry, not this fix it, not this one. We want to use the multi patch. This one. Create mesh it patch. Uh, but let me see if it is the right one. Okay. You have task free command. Okay. Oh, it is already looking for this if it is there. Okay. Hmm. You may create them. I'm not very used to this interface because I use another version of Mesh, but you may create a multi patch by going on the test free command menu and selecting it. Okay. Where is the test free command menu? I, would, I didn't want to use this one. Well, it is doing so. This is uh, the old meshed list. Uh, we don't want to actually use it. We can generate it, but just avoid using it. Let's see. And this is a preview generator of matched list. Oh, maybe it's not been 
Oh, this one. Okay, we don't want the meshed lists. We want the multi patch. Uh, let me look for this. Oh, this is. This is using a lot of time because I'm refreshing my installers. Yeah, it will be long. But anyway, uh, I'm looking for the, um, the shortcut to call test free command multi patch from a Mesh Polemos version because I think this is the one version of Mesh that most people are using nowadays. And this is uh, useful because you can call test free common multi patch directly from uh, a graphic interface instead of having to use a batch command or a, a DOS console or things like this. This that most people are, are not used to use. And well, I'm waiting to finish this part because I'm not really using the installers very much so it was not up to date but it is running so let's wait for it as you can see my uh, my borrowing archives folder is a little big but it should be done in a short time okay done uh, what I'm looking for is uh, a shortcut for test free common oh here it is so if you have this version of bash just look for test free common don't use this one the fix it uh, it's better not to use it in my opinion use this one create multi patch so what this will do is run is run test free command space multi patch uh, you can do the same things if you open a console or use uh, a batch file to do the same thing so download one of the batches that are available uh, to do the same things but all in all probably uh, this is the faster faster way to do it the easier way run it from bash polemos fork In theory, it should work, but uh, let's see. It's taking a little time, so I'm not sure it is actually. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it did it. Uh, finished. Uh, I see no arrow. We have skipping multi patch. All right because it was already there and uh, why I'm suggesting you use this one because it has important options that uh, first it is best one to generate a level level list and second it does other things uh, that are important let me check for the readme and we can look at the test free command readme which is called test free command dot htm you can find with the test free command download uh, with the multi patch options so multi patch does the generation of the uh, merged merged level of lists 
but it does also other important and useful things. So this is the generation of the merged level lists uh, and the quality of this generation using the test-free command latest alpha version is in theory the best available we have. So this is the reason. Other reasons are that test-free command both the alpha version and the previous version is doing also other important things things like this which is very important uh, so it's automatically setting the fog uh, interior cell level uh, to be higher than the zero because uh, a cell with fog level zero like you may find in especially old mocks because mods because uh, it's a sort of bug in the construction set that is allowing this thing. Uh, this thing uh, can cause problem with some kind of uh, graphic cards, especially with the uh, ETI. It was called ETI, I think now it's uh, all uh, uh, I don't remember the name. Well, uh, let me check. Okay, we have uh, two brands about uh, video cards. One is, oh, AMD. So one is uh, NVIDIA and one is AMD. It was called ETI uh, uh, a lot of years ago. But in short, if you have uh, a a AMD graphic cards and you have cells with zero fog in Morrowind, sometimes you uh, may have this bug uh, where the cell is completely black. So this test for common multi-patch options is giving these cells a minimum uh, fog setting which is not zero and so it is solving this problem before you even know it may happen. So this is an important thing about uh, about the multi-patch and another important thing is this one resolve conflicts with renamed external size so what happens is for instance you have a mod like btb uh, game settings mod which is uh, telling you oh you i don't want you to be able to uh, to actually sleep in the wilderness because for me it is cheating, it is too easy and so on. And so what the mod is, it is does is changing the wilderness cells uh, where you uh, a flag in the wilderness cells so you cannot anymore uh, sleep there. Okay, so if you like this kind of things, all is good. Problem is, then you have another mod uh, which is an ESM mod like Tamil Rebuild, which is building a new city in that cell. What happens? So Tamil Rebuild is doing the city of Halnim where there was a wilderness cell. And naturally, there's the city, it's called Halnim, there's a lot of dialogue that is filtered for that city. That it's meant to happen or in that city and in that city alone and it's filtered using the name of this city like it is uh, uh, intuitive but then you load after time you rebuild ESM you load 
a BTB settings, which uh, is done without timer rebuild loaded before timer rebuild hand install uh, even was uh, was done, and that BTB mode is changing. That widen a cell to be uh, impossible to uh, to sleep there. But problem is uh, changing that cell uh, means also using the old cell name. So BTB is loading after time rebuilt ESM, and it is changing the flag of this cell, so you cannot sleep there anymore and this would be not a real problem. The real problem is BTB is also changing back the cell name to wilderness to empty name and so what happens is uh, when your timer rebuild mode is it is looking for dialogue uh, it cannot find uh, the name of that cell anymore and there will be error problems and so on. So uh, these cell names uh, uh, option in the multi-patch uh, in the multi-patch done by test-free command should be able to solve this kind of conflicts uh, renaming back the change cell by timer build, for instance, to the proper name of the city. And so this is something important to have, in my opinion, because uh, both those modes are widely used, so it is generally, generally something useful to have. And these are the most important couple of extra options, but there is also this one, which is important and then we, we, we talk um, more about this because uh, we will see. But this is also important. Uh, so the problem is uh, summon creatures in Moro, standard Morrowind may have a problem in that uh, if you have uh, one of your companions uh, or even the player, but mostly one of your companions uh, summoning some creatures and uh, those creatures uh, die are, are going to die but you change style and so on uh, that may be crashing because the game is trying to use that creatures but is no more available so uh, it may happen that this is causing crashes so a possible uh, a possible way to avoid this problem is to set these summons as persistent and this is in fact something that the Morrowind code patch is doing already by default so you can say, well, if it is solved by the Morrowind code patch, uh, it's already good. I have not this problem anymore. Well, this is not entirely true because you may have some other old mods which is loaded, which is setting back that creatures without having that summon persist flag. And so you have the code patch, but it's not enough to be sure about this thing. So this also is another uh, important thing uh, that the uh, merge, merged, uh, sorry, the task-free common multi-patch options is doing. It is setting this this flag again, so you are more sure about it because the multi-patch is meant to be loaded last or one of the latest if not the last one in your loading order probably it is best loaded last anyway uh, and so we are sure that we fix 
these possible problems and it may be a nasty problem because it, it is crashing without uh, error, error message clear error messages uh, oftentimes so this is another thing that in my opinion is very important so uh, in short this test free common multi patch is the best tool to generate match level and lists and it is fixing three important possible problems with your game the cell names problem the fog bug problems and the summer persist problem so there are big reasons to use it and so we talked about the matched level of lists now let's talk about matched objects what is the difference why we need also this well matched objects is more generally uh, other objects with which are not level of lists so the problem is similar if you have a mod which is loading after another mod and both the mods are changing uh, the same kind of object like for instance some clothes so you have mod number one which is giving this amulet a price of 50 gold and mod number two that is giving uh, the same amulet a weight of two uh, what happens is in your game you will have by default the changes done only by the latest loaded mod so uh, the first change about the value will be lost so imagine object means that the program should keep both the chains done by the two mods uh, in doing this uh, there are oftentimes problems in that some changes are not always good to be to be kept and this is uh, the more true uh, the more complicated is the kind of objects are more interacting with other things and so on so for instance with armors we we may have some some cases where it's not very good to match everything uh, so for instance uh, let's say I have a mod which is changing the helmets uh, so they don't uh, replace the wall uh, the whole face of my character anymore but just the air because I want to be able to see for instance the eyes of my NPC or of the player uh, behind the helmet and this is possible if you use the helmet to replace for instance the air instead of replacing all, all the head and that's good but the problem is you have another mod which is uh, changing that helmet what happens is uh, that the mod loading after changing the helmet price could remove uh, the change from a previous mod which is changing uh, changing the hair to be used instead of the wall head and vice versa so in this kind of of mods it is often time not easy to decide if it is right or if it is wrong to keep all the changes because if i'm interested uh to to keep my uh my mode changing the air part i may want to avoid to match the rest of the changes if that matching is going to uh, ruin my hair part so it's not 
very easy. Uh, so programs that uh, do this kind of merging completely automatically uh, in a 100% uh, perfect way are not available and probably not even possible. So in my experience, first, don't try and use something like uh, uh, a loot uh, things like this for Morrowind because they are complete garbage. Uh, they try to to match things uh, uh, with some logic derived from more recent uh, games, and that logic is completely uh, absurd uh, about Morrowind mods, in my opinion. So it is just. Uh, Doing nothing if you're lucky, or doing uh, doing bad things if you're unlucky. So that's the one. Uh, what we have historically to doing a decent job with merging things is test tool merged objects. Uh, it doesn't work uh, bad. It has some problems, but not very much and there are tools to to fix these little problems the big very big problem with test tool is that uh, it's been done where there was no big memory for for pcs uh, there was not uh, a number of loading modes so big like we are use it uh, nowadays so in short uh, if you have a very long loading list with big mods and so on it is very very easy to have test tool crashing while trying to generate your merged objects and this is a big problem because we don't have the source of that program so we cannot really uh, make a new version of it uh, which is using our available memory and not crashing so what i try to do is doing a sort of automatic problem calling test tool dividing the kind of objects uh, that test tool was processing uh, so it was able to do it in small steps but this program is not really working as well as the original test tool uh, because this uh, process is not perfect and also it is very 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 slow uh, you have to start it do not touch your computer because you have to, uh, the program is simulating you clicking test tool uh, interface and so on and uh, it, it does not work uh, as well as the original test tool uh, but it was the one option available uh, since a very few time ago to be able to generate your measured objects with test tool without test tool crashing if you have a lot of mods in your loading list luckily there has been in latest years, uh, a new tool developed by Nycascade, which is the author of the latest MWSC Lua uh, version. And this tool is, in my opinion, the state of the art to generate uh, matched objects. Uh, it is not perfect yet but all in all i think it is the better option we have uh, at the at the moment so this is the one tool that i suggest you uh, use to generate your magic objects uh, why why reason number one uh, compared to the, the the other tools which is probably uh, my 
MMOG, which is a Morrowind Magic Object Generator. A reason one is the speed, because as I, as I told before, uh, my tool is super slow because it has to call a uh, test tool a lot, uh, 10 times to generate uh, this match list in 10 steps and it takes a lot of time and uh, it has to do it uh, sort of um, capturing and using your mouse pointer to click uh, test tool buttons to simulate you clicking test tool buttons and so you cannot use your computer uh, while the tool is running so it's not I know it's not uh, easy to use it and this is reason one why this tool by Nikascade which is called uh, let me look at it uh, task free merge uh, is much faster is very fast and so reason one reason two is this tool uh, works pretty well and I think it works almost at test tool level um, maybe a little better even for certain kind of subfields and not bad with other kinds uh, where is the problem problem is that certain parts of certain kind of records are not yet uh, perfectly uh, working in fact they don't uh, they have a little problem so uh, well the generate matched ob objects for this cannot be uh, working can cause problem uh, or crashes and so it's not perfect but there's a uh, uh, something good in that you can easily configure uh, this tool to skip things that are not working well so in short i really suggest to use this tool and change its configuration to avoid this kind of problem and this is what we will see in detail so first thing where can we find this task for image this is easy because it's being released on the nexus so you have just to look for it and it should be easy to find we by task free merge I think task free yeah and here it is so get the latest one which is 061 and install it and you will use this one to generate your magic objects and use it instead of the one generated by test tool uh, I have my recommendation to avoid problems with this so first thing you uh, install it somewhere uh, probably the best place is in the Morrowind folder uh, so for instance I have it here in as for image and you read the readme as usual where it is telling you how you can uh, set it basically you have to, you have to change this file that is called test free match dot ini so let's do it this is the one text file you have to change so here are my suggest suggestions about it and why I have these are my changes about it so like every dot any file we have the, some sections uh, between brackets 
and we have comments starting with the uh, I don't remember in English how, how this is called but you understand it uh, it is called I don't remember sorry <laughs> but this one things starting with this are comments so you don't have to change those but for instance here is a note I took about why I'm telling that's free mad to skip these NPCs because for some reason uh, it is changed even if there is just one one file changing it so there's no need to match objects about it and this is uh, something that I suggest you do to avoid the problems with helmets if you're using some bot which is changing the helmets to use hair instead of changing all the head because this way uh, pass free match will skip this kind of helmets and avoid the problem so what I did is add these two entries one is for the cephalopod helms and one is for generic helms containing the helm uh, the helm word in the identifier and this uh, dollar sign means that the word is ending like this so I suggest you add under object filters section this kind of, of lines and this is another important part under record types which are oh sorry I did something stupid here uh, where it is right under this record types sections which are blocked for merging I suggest you set factions fact here to false because this is where well, the big problems with the current version of uh, test free merge are still because merging the factions data uh, may cause problems um, I'm not sure it may cause crashes but surely it may call, uh, cause uh, some factions data to not be uh, copied correctly so for now just skip the margin of factions objects another thing that you could skip is game settings because there's not really reason to merge game settings because game settings are not a record with some fields where you want to match fields coming from different mods that just one value which may be a string which may be an integer number or a float number but it's just one single value so there's no reason in merging because the last one is uh, what will will be uh, kept and you can decide what to keep just with the loading order so no need for magic uh, at all so I don't understand why this kind of record is there but you know uh, not a bug but not really useful so in my opinion just skip it and the rest we have the mage F magic effect uh, I found personally that changes to sounds in the magic effects are not merged correctly so I will skip also this one 
and the same thing with the sound kind of object because I think generally speaking uh, merging changes about sounds is not something useful but this is my personal opinion so in short uh, important things is skip this one because this one can cause problems uh, this doesn't really do anything useful in my opinion this one is better not used and a couple of things if you have this kind of mods uh, using hair for lamps so you can for instance see the the eyes under the helmet but not something everybody is using and so these are the settings I suggest you to to use for this file so you save it once you change it and then you are good to use your test for image which is very fast like we can see compared to my tool uh, I think it's 10 or 100 times faster and as you can see or imagine the objects um, And if I sort by loading order, we should see uh, how things are are generated. Uh, another important thing is uh, we have seen why the multi patch generated by test free command is important about fixing. Uh, some some things uh, that could cause crashing or or problems, and so it is important that these things uh, are kept. But if you run a test-free match, having your multi-patch already present in your loading list, test-free match will also try and match changes. Uh, for instance, to the creatures uh, done in multi patch. Because we have seen that, for instance, uh, summoned creatures may be changed by task free common multi patch for a good reason to avoid possible crashing. And test free match could match this change, try to match this change with previous mod which are not setting that change and so the result could be that in the magic objects here you could have this change uh, sort of removed by matching a previous mod so we want instead to keep this change in short there are two ways you can do this uh, one way is to always load multi patch after matched objects. And another way is to simply remove multi patch from your loading list before generating matched objects. Uh, the way matched objects is generated, uh, I think. It is easier to just remove temporarily the multi patch before using, before generating magic objects. Uh, the reason is magic objects is uh, adding all the mods is matching to the master list. I think this is a silly thing. Uh, because it is causing problem every time you change one of these mods and it's not really needed because you will never be able to edit to load in the construction set and edit all these mods together um, so that's no real reason to have the masters uh, it, it would be better to do just like uh, test free command
and uh, let me show you oh maybe I did something stupid I took an old save. Okay. Uh. Oh, the masters. Okay. Oh, why there are no merged objects here? One thing I don't like about the Polemos version is that you cannot press and sort things by uh, multiple key pressed like in the, the standard mesh version. Uh, let me look for it. Merged, merged. Where is it? Where is my matched objects? There's something not... working as expect. Let's see here. Okay. So, this is the matched objects. And as you can see, it has all these masters, which may be a problem if you change one of them for some reason. What we want to do is have a version without them in theory, but it's complicated to do. So, in short, just avoid Disable multi patch before generating merge ob objects. Then you generate your merge objects with pass free merge. And then you generate your uh, pass free command multi patch using the alpha version, possibly, which is the good one to generate ma magic level at least. Uh, I know it's easy to, to have this confusion about, about magic objects and magic level at least, but in short, to generate magic objects, we will use task free match to generate merged level lists uh, which are called multipatch.esp we will use task free command so these are the two different tools so first we remove uh, multipatch.esp from our loading list uh, use task free merge to generate merged objects dot, uh, dot esp and then we add merge objects then we generate multi patch dot esp using task free common multi patch and once done we add both of them. So, the latest loaded one is multi-patch and merged object is just before. So, this is the final setup which I am suggesting. 
So first generate matched objects using task free match with these kind of uh, dot any setting change change that we have seen and generate match objects without having multi patch loaded. Then you use task free common multi patch using the latest task free common alpha and generate multi patch. And this multi patch will, will be loaded last after match objects. And then you should be good having your match objects and your match level list plus uh, various uh, tweaks by test for common multi patch. This is the state of the art of Morrowind merging uh, now. I hope in the future a test for your match will fix the few problems that are still present, but all in all, it is already the one tool I suggest uh, you use to generate matched objects. Uh, don't use my tool anymore. Uh, probably you can use uh, also stop using test tool even if you have a very short loading list and you are not crashing with test tool because all in all test for image is working well enough also in that case but i think most of people interested in this kind of matching uh, are already using uh, a very long loading list and already having problem with test tools so test free match is very 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 useful for that and i think that's all uh, hopefully uh, i've not been uh, so hard to follow sorry you know uh, not easy for me to to explain things in english but i hope i hope all in all this thing can be under, understandable uh, by people interested in this kind of all things and as usual thanks for watching and uh, see you next time